gangs are going to find where the money and opportunity is, and they're going to try to exploit it. Three top power Two to the nine. You know I'm saying, nigga, first out the penitentiary, free all the real ones, though. Y'all keep the rest and all them hoe niggas, though. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Trick gang or dope bang, nigga. Good yeah, man. Tap in on the music and shit. You no, know, ain't no broke shit going on out here. You know what I'm saying? They gonna get some money. You feel me? And this something light. It's West Side Tree. Two of them gang, 400 spruce, two to the nine, no cuts. Big believer in God, bro. I was raised up in a church family, bro. Right. So you know, I'm always move righteous. So anything I do, do that you guys can call gang banging and stuff, man. I had a reason for it. God said, forgive and forget. Excuse my language, y'all. But if a nigga try you, you gonna forgive and forget, or you gonna pop him? On today's episode, we spend time with the treetop pyro of North Houston, who call themselves the most hated gang in Houston. Nah, for shit so most hated, most dangerous, nigga know what's going on. The treetop pyro, also known as the Bumpton treetop pyro, is a set within the pyro gang Alliance, which is a part of the larger Bloods gang. It was founded in Compton, California in the 1970s and has since spread to other states like Tennessee, Texas, Maryland, and many more. In this video, you hear the term Bumpton often. Don't be confused, it still refers to the city Compton, that is in California of course, but blood members sometimes replace the letter C with B to avoid any association with the Crips, saying things like biggerettes instead of cigarettes and Bompton instead of Compton. Overall, our goal today is to explore the Bloods, specifically the treetop pyro of North Houston. We'll dive deep into who they are, why they do what they do, and what life means to them. Beyond the headlines and stereotype, we'll uncover their values, struggles, and the motivations that shape their world. Anybody got injuries, shot shot wounds, anything? Yeah, nah, we don't get popping around here. We the most dangerous, we do the popping, man. Niggas in trial, we the most dangerous, and they ain't never hit nothing. Never hit nothing. What happened? Right there. Look, I don't even want to talk about it. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, you were showing me something. What was over there? It's big Pyro, 400 treetop down, West Side oh, Bomb. Yeah, that shit, that shit. Hey, the thing is, we linked in and bumped in, in the land for shit show. So this ain't no faking, no bullshit. These real trees out here in the H, you feel me? And they can vouch for that. Nah, facts. Tap in, everybody can tap, tap, tap in. Tap the fuck in. Say so they 400, nigga, we're gonna tap in, though. We really been putting on for this shit, nigga. I been on the shit since I was 13, nigga. Wearing my stripes, nigga, I'm a solid nigga. TTIP Profit, TTIP Dro, OE 400, nigga, all the follow members, nigga. Yeah, nigga hey, was hey, wait, I, I was- I got caught with guns I and I was too young. Right I, got, I got like three unlawful carry charges from starting from 16. I always keep a pole on me, so I get caught for that being too young. But you know, I live in Texas, bro, so you know I get the benefit of the doubt. Every time that's a class A missing me, and I get right out. How, how much? Uh, how old were you when you got caught? I was 16 when I got my first one. Oh, 16. Okay. Um, I was reading online though that the treetop pyro. So you were actually telling me that the treetop pyro. Not every treetop pyro is a blood, correct? No. No, every no. Every treetop. Every pyro is a blood, but not every blood is a pyro. Well, why? Why is that, bro? Why? Why the differences, bro? I'm a bit confused by that. Far as what? Like why every blood is not pyro and then every pyro, like can you explain the, the dynamic for us? So basically, you know what I'm saying? The Crips was here before before the bloods, before pyros, before all that. You had a clique, they called it a clique, it's pyro boys or pyro street boys, you feel me? So the Crips was on some Crip or die shit, you know what I'm saying? They was trying to go to, they was going to different hoods, basically punking niggas, you feel me? So then the pyros, they weren't going for that shit. Then you had a other, you had a few other groups that wasn't going for it as far as like the Green Jackets, which is the bounty hunters today. Brim. You know what I'm saying? The Brims, you feel me? Bishop Swans, yeah. shit like that. So when we all formed, when we all came together, that's how the Blood Alliance got formed. You feel me? Yeah. But Pyrus, if you ask me, if it wasn't for the Pyrus, it wouldn't be no Bloods. You feel me? Right. That's why we Burgundy represent yeah. the original Blood, the Blood that was said. You oh, feel God. me? Well, what's y'all relationship with uh, the Pyrus over in Los Angeles? Oh shit, we tapped in, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause yeah. the thing is, niggas that be pushing these, if you pushing the set that's from out there, like I would say from Bumpton, you feel me? So it's like, if you pushing it, how you not gonna be tapped in if that's what you repping, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, if you pushing the shit and don't, know, you, don't nobody know who your big homie is, you ain't tapped in, either get right or get left. You know what I'm saying? That's how it go. Yeah, I see that, I see that. And I, I also saw this online. I know you're not supposed to trust everything you see online, but I saw that you, you guys pretty much got your popularity from rapper YG. Is that is that nah, facts or nah, like hell nah. famous things listen? Like, you had DJ Quick back in the nineties, you feel me? But what I tell niggas like I hear bro, it's a lot of niggas that claim they four hundred block trees, 
You know what I'm saying? But we took through the nine anyway. Right. But a lot of niggas claiming 400 when YG started popping. Nigga, I've been treetop. I've been pushing this 400 shit. My shit name ain't Lil' 400. And I've been pushing that before I even knew who YG was. Like I said, I'm 25. I got put on the shit when I was 13. So that's back in 2012. You feel me? So I ain't know who the fuck YG was till after I got put on. So a lot of niggas that really just hopped on the bandwagon. Don't get me wrong, it's some official top members out here that's pushing this 400 shit. But a lot of niggas don't be official for real. You know what I'm saying? So if a nigga saying that we got popular and YG came out, they don't know the history of this shit. And you know really, saying? niggas be scared yeah, to be, niggas really be scared to be tapped in in the land. I don't know why, but it's good to be tapped in with, with the land, bro, because that's that's where it originally started. How you gonna bang a set and don't be tapped in with the game, with your with your with your top homies. members, with your homies? You feel me? That ain't that ain't official. Everybody out here, even, even my circle, all, all our circles is tapped in with the land, bro. I'm G Root 400 block. You know what I'm saying? Spruce Street. Two through the nines, you know what yeah, I'm saying? All of them, you, you feel me? Yeah, world and world hey, world hey, I'm from Houston, Tennessee. Texas. I'm from Acres Home, Maryland. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've been banging this shit since 12, you feel me? I'm free to bro. I'm free to bro, man. This is Javon Williams, a Houston native and OG to some of the Treetop Pyro members you see here. Williams is currently in prison as he was convicted for the murders of Charlie Burnett Jr. in January 2017 and Tonio Swain Frank in February 2017, and he's serving a life sentence for both crimes. Two teenagers who were killed last year as part of an ongoing gang-related feud. Federal investigators say these are violent fugitives committing some high-profile crimes. Y'all the most hated gang in Houston. Yes. That, that's, a, that's a hell of a title, man. Uh, what 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 make y'all think you're actually that hated of all the gangs out here in Houston? Let the nigga come try us. That's <laughs> it. That, let the nigga come try it. That's all. That's it. Yeah, oh, come friend, just try. Yeah, just try. <laughs> it. Really, I say I say we most hated because we move different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's still like it's Paru. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of that moves. You feel me? Whether you blood, brim, Paru, whatever. I rep all of them. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I feel like it's trees. You know what I'm saying? We we just move different, you know what I'm saying? So that's why we say we most hated, most dangerous. We can, yeah. we got but at the same time, home, nigga yeah. ain't going out there looking for problems. Yeah. Nigga come this way, blood. It's, yeah. yeah. Going we gonna get it bracket. We gonna get it bracket, yeah. niggas come this way. That's, that's it, all I'm like, saying. Shit, nigga. Like, for we real. life, bro. You know, we steady talking, steady moving, how we moving, bro. Yeah. Like, that's it. homies that's dead and gone, bro. You know? Yeah. Nigga done seen that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, really make you think different. Yeah. Make you more militant, more defensive. That's why I don't really just try to cause problems, bro, but I'm on point to the point where if problems come to me, I'm going to handle that shit. It. Hearing you say over there, you said um, this ain't really it, you know, like it's dangerous and shit, like stay in school if you're not really about it. What made yeah. you choose this life, though? I'm curious. Why did you choose shit, this life? Shit. My environment, I'm from Maker's Home. It was hustlers, pimps. Game banging, you know what I'm saying? So shit, and I got family members that's Pyros, Bloods, Crips, so shit, it was like basically, I was kind of born in it, you know what I'm saying? So, and hey, and I chose this piece shit, you know what I'm saying? So. How's your parents, how's your parents take that? Did they find out, did they ever find out? Yeah, rest in peace to my dad. Uh, shit, when they found out, shit, they already know how they, how they son is, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, it wasn't really no problem. I ain't really have no problem. I hear 400 for my clarity. Is that the name of the set or that's just like that's the, the block? That's the block. That's the block. That's the block. Yeah, well, where's yeah. the block at? Where's 400 Spruce and you got 400 Maple? Mm -hmm. Where 400? It's in Buffalo. All right, how often y'all fly there? Shit, it don't matter. We go out there anytime we want to. You know what I'm saying? I got homies go out there, shit, come back. Shit, it's good. Um, what what y'all do for work though? How y'all make money? Shit, all I'm curious. Everybody all need all money, all bro. All hey, I'm gonna keep it G, all man. All hey, all I went to the penitentiary for Rogan, you feel me? But see, right now, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a working man, you feel me? I'm proud, I'm proud to say I got a job, you feel me? I went to school, got me a trade, you know what I'm saying? But see, a nigga still gonna hustle on the side, you feel me? Money gonna keep coming in, nigga ain't, and nigga ain't gonna be broke, you feel me? Nigga gonna make it happen regardless, however it come. But a nigga ain't crashing out, you feel me? A lot of niggas gonna change for the money, they gonna sell their soul. But one thing about me, nigga, I'm gonna remain solid. You feel me? It's solid shit only. Hey, and it's okay to get you a nine to five, bro. You don't gotta be out here trying to be like the next motherfucker. Shit, I'm looking for a nine to five. My goddamn self. You feel me? So ain't nothing wrong with getting you a nine to five. You feel me? Like I said, I'm a jack of all trades. So nigga, work, 
nigga chop and you know. Okay, so yeah. sounds sound like y'all, 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 you know, in the job market. Well, what's y'all skills? Sell yourself. People can DM you if they if they need song with your skill set. So what 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 can you do? Whatever you need, tap in, bro. Jack of all trades, okay, bro. Right, if, if you can think of it, we got it. So if you if think they need, of it, we got it. If they need computer engineers, like y'all can do it. Hell yeah, yeah, we got, got it. it. We got it. We got it. Hey, bro, got hey, 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 we got, got it. Hey, we got it. 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 We Mom was like, get a job. Then I got a job. She was like, you still need to do something. We ain't got that shit just because. Okay. Well, what was your course in school? You went back to school. What did you do? Y'all went for HVAC. You know what I'm saying? It's what, what heat, and, ventil I don't think heat and ventilation, yeah. air conditioning. Oh, oh, air conditioning. oh, oh you know every trade. Saying? Okay, trade yeah. school. Yes, sir. Up in them attics and stuff, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. Excuse my ignorance, y'all. Uh, okay. And it take, a, it take a real man to get out of jail and, and go to that shit every week, multiple times. You know what I'm talking about? It take a real man to get in there and dedicate yourself to that shit because as soon as you get out of jail, you don't know what the fuck going on. Hey, anybody know that from Greens Point, really all over the north, really all over the city, you feel me? I go by little 400, some homies call me Lalo. Either way it go, my nigga, niggas that know me when I was younger, bro, I done went down for egg robbery, egg assault, got held for a murder, all types of shit, you feel me? Stay solid, niggas wanna play, niggas wanna talk. Man, niggas know what it is with me, you feel me? I came home, nigga wise and now, nigga know how to move, you feel me? And I ain't saying I'm perfect, you feel me? I'll still blow a nigga if a nigga play with me, but at the end of the day, nigga not glorifying this shit. I tell all the little niggas, man, stay in school, do something positive with your life, cause this shit ain't it, you feel me? I got homies that's on lock, I got big homies that's TTIP that's never, you know what I'm saying? Never gonna be able to see life again, you feel me? So I just tell niggas, man, stay solid, watch how you move and shit. Just think for yourself, be a man before anything. Cause before this treetop Paru shit, before all this gangster shit, I'm a man before anything. And if you been in Harris County Jail, you know what I'm talking about, that hoe, you feel me? You gonna get some, you gonna squabble in that hoe, that's all that matter. Y'all get along feel me? with Crips? Yeah, I got I got some crib partners, you know what I'm saying? Really, y'all about to say, really, Illa me, we right by Illa, you feel me? Illa, that's six O's. But them niggas know, like, I'm going to speak for Greens Point. So, anybody tell you, bro, back then, Greens Point is mostly six O's, you feel me? And we right by six O block. So, if you was pushing treetop power, bounty hunter, anything, like, if you was any type of dog move, it was hard for us coming up out here. You feel me? Everywhere we go, we had to squabble, we had to stand on business. So it's like, shit, if you was pushing this shit to be one of us, you had to have heart. Because if you a hoe, you ain't going to make it. You feel me? So, yeah, I got some six O's I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Some hoes and shit, but they know what it is with me. You feel me? It's all about respect. I don't tolerate no disrespect because I don't disrespect nobody. You feel me? Around the world, the real ones. Oh, God. Not the real. bullshit ones. You feel me? What's the what's the goal, though, for the treetop pyro? What what do y'all want to accomplish? Shit, we want to we, we get rich. One bad to put all our mamas up, mm -hmm. our brothers, our sisters, our kids, whatever we got, you know what I'm saying, that's close to us, we want to put them up, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and just, hey, it be good, you And the plan is music, right? You said music? Back at this bitch, make a deal, one nigga gon' hang with his cleats. We two turn pop out of them niggas like, damn, we 50 deep. We the one sitting shit up in the city. We in the back 30 footer with a 50. In 10 years, bro, in 10 years, I'm at a whole set, we gon' all be. Living lavish, bro. I'm gonna get global with this music shit, bro. We're gonna turn this shit up, bro. And this shit gonna go all the way up, bro. I'm about promoting generational wealth. You know what I'm saying? I got a bunch of plans. I just don't talk, I don't talk about the shit I do. You feel me? I'm just gonna do it. It's gonna be an action. You feel me? I got two stepdaughters. You feel me? Like, I don't want them to ever have to come up how I came up because I know what I was doing. You feel me? So I'm already a family man. You feel me? And shit, we all gonna be up if it's in God's will because I know what I did in the streets and I know a lot of niggas want my head. I ain't hiding from nothing, I ain't ducking nothing. But at the same time, I'm not looking for no trouble. I got kids? Yeah. Hell no, I ain't got no yeah. kids. <laughs> okay, you got, you got kids. I, yeah, yeah. You, would you want them to follow in your footsteps yeah, right, right now? Yeah, you know, yeah, join the gang, get indoctrinated? Well, the way the way the world is now, it's different. Generations change, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, hopefully by this time, by the by time they get old, shit, all this fade away for them on, on their behalf, you know what I'm saying? But for us, nah. I don't want my kids following my footsteps. I want my kids to be greater than me. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Like, shouldn't nobody want their kids to follow their footsteps if they doing some fucked up shit. You feel me? You want better for your kids. You feel me? I know I do. And I'm pretty sure if anybody else out here got kids, they would want the same. I love my three. I love my three to death. Hey, and shout out my wife. You feel me? Hey, man, you married? Yeah, How bro. many years, bro? Bro, I just got married in May. Yes, sir.
Love, love is hey, love is real, man. Yeah, for y'all, real. Y'all fuck with love, or y'all for real. just yes, like the. Yes, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 So y'all, y'all loyal, loyal men. Yeah, thanks. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you, hey, you hey, see, hey, I got the ring. You see the black tie. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't play play. This for real. Hey, you black men don't cheat. Yeah. Black men don't <laughs> cheat. Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Man, that's a real stand up nigga, bro. Uh, we out here, bro. Nigga been doing this since day one. Tell me how you You know what I'm saying? Here, shit. You know like I said, I've been in this shit since day one, bro. Ain't nothing changed. Just time, bro. These niggas out here pump faking, which is usually. You know what I'm saying? That's why we the ones out here. We doing this right here. We on the north with this shit. 400, 239. You know what I'm saying? Got 200 members on the, on the north too, though. Yeah, shout you know what I'm saying? We got 200 out here. We got 400. Two, but it's 239. Three, Westside bump the blood. Like, top, nigga, nigga P4, 400, blood. 31 years old. You feel me? Like I said, I've been banging this shit since 12. You feel me? Official. Sounds like pretty much everybody here in their mid 20s to early 30s. Yeah. Safe 20, to say? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. 26. Okay. I'm probably the oldest one out here. All right. Oh, you yeah. know, okay. We well, all know there's an election in pretty much a month from now. Things don't care, bro. They ain't going to fake me at all, bro. Kamala I mean, Tyler, shit, bro. I ain't never got no felon, no felony, so I can I can legally carry now that I'm old enough. So I guess I'd say if I was to vote, I'd vote Trump since that nigga pro guns. But other than that, shit, Kamala I don't has a it. gun, though. She said she got a gun. Last debate, and she's probably they gonna take them they hoes. Take <laughs> Come yeah. say more. No, it looks like you got more shit, to say. Bro. You said they, they gonna, gonna take, take it. They gonna take this Ooh, shit. Why we you black. think so, bro? We black. We gonna stand up, bro. We ain't going for none of this shit, bro. They don't want you to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. okay. right, for once, bro. They want us to be fucking weak, bro. That's why we gonna keep. Hey, hey, get you a gun right now. How many of y'all in your set? I know I I should have been here last weekend because you know. Spin was telling me y'all had a whole event going on. You guys yeah, were giving back to the community that. and oh, shit. How many y'all in y'all yeah, said? We can do that on Thanksgiving. Right. We can do that Thanksgiving week. Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? Okay. Go feed the homeless. Okay. See, as far as the set, man, we can't really put no number on that. You feel me? Because like I say, we, we on the north. You feel yeah, me? We but got we got north, we got homies south. on the south, the east, really yeah, everywhere. You feel yeah. me? Different cities in Texas. Everywhere. everywhere. But what inspires but the good? You know, you know for you so, guys giving back so to the community. As far as like, like as far as me, like the set is my family. You feel me? I lost my mama when I was nine years old. My daddy really wasn't in my life. You feel me? So when that happened, shit, I had a group. I had a group of homies. You know what I'm saying? TTIP Profit. You know what I'm saying? They took me under their wing. You mm. feel me? Because I was a young nigga. I was a young reckless nigga. But ever since elementary, you know what I'm saying? My mama was tree top. You feel me? But once she started having kids, she was on some shit like, you know what? I'm a time I'm gonna be a mother to my to my kids. You feel me? But as a kid, I already had that influence. Like elementary, we had to wear a uniform. I'm, Red collar shirt, khaki pants, red tux, red laces. I ain't even know nothing about six. So I just get a red sharpie, put blood gang on my shit. But as a nigga got older and started realizing, and after I got put on the set and got laced right, I learned that just because somebody ripped something else don't mean I got a trip on them. Cause right. to be honest, I got crip niggas that'll kill for me and I'll kill for some of my low niggas, you feel right. me? Right. Like I say, I got family members that's uh, Hoover, so shit, you know. We don't be tripping about no shit like that. It's all about the money and respect. Sounds good. So it's like you're giving back because that's how you were brought up. Like, because people gave back to y'all. Okay. All right. I see the love. One good turn deserves another. All right. That's what's up. That's you got. It got to be a balance. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be out here doing all the negative shit because you ain't going to have nothing but bad karma coming your way. So try to put some positivity into the city. You feel me? And that's what it is. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm a big believer in God, bro. I was raised up in a church family, bro. Right. So, you know, I'm always move righteous. Mm -hmm. So, anything I do do that you guys can call game banging and stuff, man, I had a reason for it. God said, forgive and forget. If a nigga try you, you gonna forgive and forget or you gonna pop him? Shit, it depends on how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's how he coming. <laughs> we from Texas, bro. We put the guns down and we yeah, punch you know, first. Blood, yeah, blood. I ain't, I don't blood. know about how the other blood. place. Blood. We were raised to punch. Blood. We blood. punch. Blood. So you're not, you're not bro. gonna forgive and forget. You gonna. If, if, if you want to, it depends on the situation. Yeah. If, so, yeah. Shit. If that pistol, you gang banging, doing what you're doing. If you go to jail, ain't no guns in that hole. You gonna have to punch. You feel me? Oh, God. This shit for protection, so, so, bro. Wait, wait, when y'all use the gun if you don't use it on the. Man, bro, before I use the gun, bro, I'm gonna pass to the homie, bro. If a nigga wanna punch, we gonna punch right then and there. And we not gonna jump. Okay. Bro, gonna one tell one, you. One, yeah, one on one. Because the loudest ones in the room really the weakest. You feel me? I'm going to say it like this, because I done had one of my day one homies tell on me. Man, I'm going to say this. If you're going to do some dirt, 
either do it by your lonely or do, or do it with somebody you know gonna stay solid for oh. shit show. You know what I'm saying? And if you got any sign, if you see any signs or any fuck shit, and they gonna tell, they gonna switch up, whatever, my nigga, get away from that nigga, man, cause the nigga had you doing some numbers, football numbers, you feel me? And I got a lot of real ones that's down that road right now because of shit like that. Too. Every dog ain't your dog, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know the niggas and the homies that you around that you could trust them, you feel me? Because yeah, every dog shit. ain't your dog, you know what I'm saying? Every tree don't grow the yeah. same. Oh you God, hear me? hey, this new wave, not to none of my, none of the young niggas out here, but the new wave is back door. That's some new wave shit. We don't, we don't really rock like that in Texas. Don't say nothing, shit. Stay stay, stay dangerous, go get some money, shit. On trees, that's all I like to say. I can tell you smoke the most out of everybody here, bro. <laughs> he just worried about his weed. But ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate y'all yes, for watching. Sir. Yo, this is, I feel like I got so much street wisdom and I just wanted to share with y'all, not every, what, what'd you say? Hey, that's what he said. Every tree what? Every tree don't grow the same. I'm gonna drop all their ads in the description below. So make sure you look at that. See you guys in London. This thing's just since the beginning. We know the hangar where they say it's tension. We up on the scope, steady winning. Young nigga 